All right, here we are, Ermac, with the mask. With the mask, and yeah. the mask was was pretty praised. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. like the mask. Uh, and he has some of his gear. Is some oh, of the coolest. It's gnarly. There's, yeah. there's there's a helmet that I have been wearing exclusively, which I will not talk anything more about. Uh, his movement's awesome. He's, I I love the like weird marionette way mm -hmm. he walks back and forwards. He's I think our design team and our animators have really nailed the uh, kind of spooky mummy man, on his undead knees guy. For the, yeah. For his, uh, cool throw. With, we got the Movado throw, and then just very, crumples very you. painful. Um, yeah, so let's talk about, uh, about Ermac. One of his main strings that people are really going to enjoy. One of my favorites, kind of old school. Uh, one of those strings that ends in a grab at the end. Mm -hmm. Very reminiscent of like the ultimate MK3 kind of lift, except he throws him over, but that kind of hand gesture reminds me of it, which is a cool. And probably easier to do. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to, you don't have you can just, you don't have to do the ending and it's a knockdown. Mm -hmm. um, but this, why wouldn't you lift? Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's, it's too cool. cool. Like yeah. boom. Do you lift, bro? Remember <laughs> that? Uh, this is one of his main strings too that I love using. Two one two, mm -hmm. pop up. Yep. Um, it immediately goes into pop, and you can combo after that if you want to. Uh, just super cool. Like just it, you know one of those one of those moves people really enjoy because it takes a lot of the onus off of you. You you're it's it's a pop up combo. You get way up in the air and you can do stuff. And I think you'll see that he has a lot of really cool air combos and air enders and stuff like that. He has some he has a, some of the most air moves in the game. I would say. Uh, That's because he's Air Mac. Oh, oh, there we are. There we are. It. Love it. This move. He uh, kicks you and then... Just a burst of souls. And, and it, you know, for a string, does does a good amount of damage. Uh, this can be canceled out with some stuff that we will show later, so we're going to hold off on that a little bit. You're working up to it. We're going to work up to it. Mm -hmm. um, his Torch 4 is really neat. This is this neat. And then Torch 4 3, is just, it knocks them away. This is another move that, on the outset, looks just like a kind of a jumping knee. Mm -hmm. Right. A lot more is going to come from that later. We will get back to that as yeah, well. Yeah, you'll notice he's he's airborne, which yes. we'll talk about. Keep that in mind. Yes, it, it knocks him into the air, um, and it knocks them into the air. And what you're what you're stating, Ermac's he in the is air. airborne. Yes. Yes. Um, four two two. He's an overhead. So, like we said earlier, it's not a lot of overhead lows. This is one thing you kind of throw out and fish and, you know, knock them down, knock them away. Or just throw the overhead out and cancel into a special. It's also worth considering, while he may not have the best lows, the cameo systems means Absolutely. there are characters like Kung Lao and Frost that have good lows. Absolutely. Um, but this is a great one to start out there. Has, has a good, good amount of range. Yeah. Good amount of range. Uh, back to four is a cool sort of just trapping bounce. Mm -hmm. And it can also, it can be special canceled as well, um, if you want to. Um, that's the full move, it knocks you fully away. And then you can do like, a lift off. Mm -hmm. uh, and more stuff too, obviously, but that's just where you are there. Uh, this move is a ton of fun. This is just his back three. It's kind of like a, a get the heck off me move. Uh, just sends you full back, a, uh, a specter comes out and knocks you backwards. Uh, gives you a little distance when you when you need it. With right. Him. It seems like he does do a lot of things to get distance as well. He does, and he has a lot. Of, he has a couple of things you can get him back in range mm -hmm. as well. Uh, let's talk about some special moves. As we've seen earlier, we got the the classic lift. Yep, that big skeletal witch lady. <laughs> now you can also meter burn that for to trap him. Oh. And do air combos or whatever, whatever you want to do after that, which is super cool. A um, lot of fun. Uh, he just a lot of stuff he can do with that. Uh, he's got a push. Yep. And has a good amount of range. That's, that's that kind my of guy. Thing. That yeah, was my right? guy. That's your that's your that's your guy. Uh, it's one of those good things when you play Ermac where you can always sort of like checking people who are trying to move in on you. Exactly. And you know they have to be really safe because there's a good amount of distance there. Uh, when you use meter on that, it is also armor. Which is a great armor move. You can use that to beat projectiles, long range normals. You could like whiff punish with it. Right. Unless that's full, I just did pretty much max distance right there. Mm -hmm. And that's 
You got some good range. You got some good range. You got some good range. Uh, of course, the teleport. Right. This teleport is very interesting. So see, I'm starting on the ground. Mm -hmm. I teleport. I end on the ground. Yeah, still on the ground there. I can also go up. So I can go on the ground or the air. Do it again, now what? So I can go up. Mm -hmm. Or I can do it from the air and go up. Mm -hmm. You can do it to the air and go back down. Wow. So like any up, down, you can mix and match. Them. Mind blown right now. One thing that's fun to do too is you can actually kind of go up here with it and you're right in their face. Right. And you know, a lot of people might do something to you. A lot of people won't. <laughs> so that's, that's a lot of fun too. Um, it's also going to be a thing that's really going to add to their mental stack when you have multiple options coming up. They're going to have to look for the teleport and then also guess how you're going low. to teleport yeah. back in. Right. Um, big thing, uh, down back two is in, oh, that's not bad. Oh. Did it wrong. Oh. Hover. Okay. So hover does quite a few things. You're hovering. You can cancel it early, that sort of thing. If you meter burn it, it's quicker. Nope. And we'll explain that in a second. Do you remember that knee we talked about? Yes, I do. Tell me about that knee. So you can cancel. Very cool. Into knee with teleport, with, with levitate. So you can continue pressure. So I can do that. Maybe I come down and I throw. Lots of things you can do with that. So if he's in the air, he can do his levitate, which opens up a lot of things. Like this string I showed earlier. You he's really going to come up with some crazy stuff. Things. Very Ooh. cool. I missed it. Hold on, sorry. So I can levitate out of it. Okay, Lanny. Right. Nice. Into a, into a full combo. Got okay. it in less than three tries. Right. You're really just a normal person. It. I'm just a normal human being. <laughs> and hover, hover super cool. So it's just, you always... You know, I love that kind of UMK3 pose. Yeah. pose. It's Once a, you start putting this pressure on, like, where does it go, right? And that's going to be really fun for a lot of people to play with. I've really enjoyed it. So sometimes when I'm like alone in my apartment, I do that pose, and that's no that's not weird, right? That's Everyone does that, right? Absolutely okay. normal. Okay. Let's talk about some new stuff to Mortal Kombat 1's Ermac. Uh, first off, there's this move called Death's Embrace. Okay. Where he comes out, a spirit touches him, and he gets this sort of shield on him. Right. While that is active, and it lasts five, six seconds there, it went away, your health bar is now your meter. So you are getting meter taken off instead of health, mm -hmm. right? So a very clear scenario would be you're about to lose. Right. You have only one hit left. But you got full meter. But you got three bars. You know, let's say you're way ahead and the time's running out. Turn it on. They're chipping away at your meter right. while your health bar is safe. The cool thing about this, too, is you can turn it off whenever you want to. So if someone's doing a combo to you, you can take half that combo, turn it off, like, there's a lot of different, like, mind games you can play with it. Some fun stuff that way. Also, the little demon lady looks really cool. She does. Uh, another move that's new is Spirit Punch. So he has this punch where he charges it up Ooh. and lets out, oh, just a torrent of these, these spirits. Now, it has a bunch of levels. You can do it just real quick. Just mm -hmm. knock them away. Hold it down. It gives you a crumple state. Ooh. And then it's time. You know? Right. Okay. Now here's the other thing. This move can be canceled out. Mm -hmm. So you can turn it on, I can back out, turn it on, back forward. You can put in a move, you can do it during a combo and do it. I'm sorry to say not great at that, but you can you can continue pressure like we were talking about earlier. Um, super cool move. Another move he has is, that's new is this Shrieking Souls move where he slides on the ground and, and knocks you up. This also can be canceled. So once you hit, you can double dash forward and continue a combo. So I can be like, okay, very like cool. That. You got it. And so that it just always like constant pressure with Ermac. You're continuing moving forward, pressuring them, teleporting around. Just like you talked about earlier, I love the term you when you use mental stack. Yes. There's a, so much. It's like a lot of our characters. There's so much stuff you have to think about while you're fighting him that could happen at any time. It also seems like a reoccurring thing here is combo options, possibility, yes. routes. Very cool. Uh, one of my favorite moves he has is this. He's got, this oh. is his only quote unquote projectile. As you can see, it runs across the ground. You can only do it in the air. Um, if you use meter, it costs two bars of meter. You can also do this and it'll send out these hands. That's so which cool. Which will start a combo. 
Now this, again, will go back to the knee, the thing that is sort of in the, the thesis of the story, is you can do it from knee. Which means, if you want to use the bars, you know, it's end of the round, you can literally come in, do that. Very cool. Um, that is, that, that's, that's Ermac in a nutshell.